Environmental degradation is defined as the reduction of the capacity of the environment to the meet social and ecological objectives are needed. Environmental degradation comes in many times. One, the erosion. The erosion is the effect of the soil that goes beyond the loss of fertile of the land. It has to do with the increase of pollution and the sedimentation in its stems and rivers, streams, clojun. According to the resource person, if plants are not growing, animals tend to migrate. This is the result of degradations. For example, if a plant is not growing, animal will find where there's plants. Okay. If uh, too much depletion happens, even water sources can reduce. And when water resources reduce, animals that need water, they will move to where there's water. We call it migration. Mm -hmm. And if eventually it does not uh, have places to, they keep on dying. And when they died, there will be total reduction. And as it could keep on reducing, then it will not even be in existence any longer. When microorganisms act on soil, it loses its compactibility, erosions. This happens when there is no compactment of the soil. So erosion can be prevented by plant of shrubs, trips, grasses, e.g. carpet grasses. This will also prevent the carrying of the sun. Microorganisms act on soil. Yes. It loses the compartment of the soil. And one of the ways you can do it in the ordinary agri uh, level is okay, plant trees, plant some, uh, you know, uh, some bed uh, grasses that will cause it. Okay. Then are some part of human activities which encourage erosion. Like you keep on cultivating a particular land for a long time, the soil will become loose. Okay. So, and this can cause uh, erosion. Grasses that are birds. Okay. Even if rain fall, it will go over those grasses and it may not carry the sand. sand. Okay. Yes. Preventing soil degradation and erosion and the loss of valuable land to dissatisfactions. The health of the soil is primarily consigned to farmers and the global community whose livelihood depends on well management, agriculture that starts with the dirty beneath our earth fact. And now this moves us to indiscriminate dumping of waste. 
disposing of waste has been this environmental impact and can cause some problems. In the UK, much of this buried in the landfill site holes in grounds and sometimes old quarries. Sometimes special dunks. Some waste will eventually rust, but not all. And in the process, it may smell or generate the maintained gas, which is explosive and contributes to the greenhouse effect. They have collection point whereby refuse can be deposited there and packed. Actually, they don't have, but I know even the government is making an arrangement. They don't normally construct a refuge area, but they will there's this net point whereby you can deposit your refuse and you can see vehicles evacuating it to where they will deposit them. There are some refuse that are biodegradable and non-biodegradable. Some can not be decomposed by microorganisms and some can cause erosion. It can also cause fluid and flood. Indiscriminate dumping of refuse through things from the car while driving, e.g. rubber plastic, it can also cause a little accident. It can cause fire and wildfire, especially the cigarette. If you look at plastic, many of us drink what is refers to as pure water, which is not pure. It's rather for packaged water. So we drink it through the nylon, bottled water through the nylon, minerals that are bottled, we throw it. All these are not degradable easily. Although we have microorganisms that are still degrade, but not as fast as maybe you throw ordinary paper, leaf, which can easily be decomposed on the ground. So this unnecessary dumping of this can cause uh, maybe drainage to be blocked. And when drainage block, water must always find its level. Not just erosion it causes, it causes flood. You see, go to Lagos, go to even Kogi here. You find out that there are a lot of flooding which can result in uh, erosion. Some uh, gully erosion, some just ordinary surface erosion. But mostly because of dumping of this refuse, it blocks where the water was supposed to pass and it go out of this way, causing a, a lot of uh, flooding and erosion. Go, if you go to the, uh, to the back of uh, SLT Biological Garden, you will see it there. There's no place for them to defecate, no place for them to ease themselves. You see girls, boys going there. If you go there now, you see a lot of... Uh, this uh, package water leather being disposed there. When waste disposed indiscriminately are not collected, it gives rise to unsanitary condition, which poses environmental and health hazard risks. <laughs> 